welcome to my video on solar power. Last week we moored up next to our lovely electrician and we got ourselves three new solar panels installed. So I thought I'd talk a little bit today about the processes involved, how much it cost, but also how much power we now have through new panels. It all began by um, measuring out the roof and figuring out exactly how many solar panels we could have fitted because we have to bear in mind things such as the chimneys which get in the way and block the solar panels which stop them from working. Before I actually measured the roof out I guessed that we could have six solar panels all together on the roof but then when I actually measured it out I soon found out that there wasn't really much space for more than four or if we did want more than four then we wouldn't have a sitting area for the summer. We already had one existing solar panel in place and we decided that we would keep this solar panel despite being a slightly lower wattage and then have three new ones as opposed to four brand new ones. This was because it still was working great. So after measuring the boat I calculated that we could fit comfortably two solar panels at the very front of the boat, have a centre area with the hatch and the chimneys which we could use as a picnic area and then have a further two solar panels at the back of the boat, one of which being the solar panel that was already in place. So our electrician had a better idea of where the solar panels would go and how exactly they would fit on top of the roof, I made a 3D Google SketchUp version of our boat. It was very rough having not used the software since I was 15 um, for my DT GCSE so it was quite fun going back and having to kind of remind myself and refresh myself on how to use it. It's definitely not very accurate and at one point I actually realised that the boat was a couple of centimetres shorter than it should have been um, but nonetheless it kind of served as a very good rough guide for our electrician to kind of work off. I did go online and have a look at the dimensions of the new solar panels we wanted to order and they were pretty much exactly the same dimensions of our existing solar panels so I was able to quickly copy and paste that one. I thought it would be really useful to quickly break down how much it costed to get the solar panels and have them fitted in case you're a fellow boater looking for a boost in power or you're a solar panel price curious person. <laughs> so the most expensive item on the list was actually the charge controller at £180. The charge controller we bought is for 60 amps. The second most costly item on the list were the solar panels themselves. Solar panels have reduced in price a lot recently uh, and they were £89 from Bimble. Then the next item on the list was the cables. There were lots of various cables involved to fit them, to connect them up, to put them into the charge controller, to plug them into the batteries and all of the cables all together came to £80. Then there are the switch breakers, which we have two of, one for the charge controller and one for the solar panels, which were £60. Then next are the solar panel mounts, which were £40 each, but we had three of those, so they all came to a total of £120. Our solar panel mounts are fixed, which means that we can't rotate our solar panels, but this comes at the benefit of our solar panels not having to be drilled into the roof. Finally, all the miscellaneous stuff um, that comes with fitting and installing solar panels, such as sealant and cable ties and all these other random bits and bobs, and all of that all together came to £100. Then on top of that, as we weren't confident to install the solar panels ourselves, we paid our electrician £400 for the installation fee. So altogether it came to around £1,200 to have three 305 watt uh, solar panels installed. So I thought I'd break down a little bit more about how much power we've been actually getting at the moment. It's currently early November and it's been sunny for the past couple of days so we've been rather lucky and we've got ourselves quite a lot of solar power. I've been recording at various intervals throughout the day how many amps we've been getting and I've kind of quickly recorded and jotting down the numbers. At around 11am we've been getting around 15 amps an hour which is rather good for this time of year I have to say. And then about 1 o'clock we're getting about 5 amps and then towards the afternoon evening um, at around half four when the sun starts to get we've been getting around two to a little as little as 0 0.5 0 0.1 amps an hour so calculating that all together in an average day we're getting around 40 amps of power 
power and then we've been getting a little extra from the original solar panel that we have um, which is a mystery amount because we don't have it connected to our charge controller. <laughs> So is this enough power? I did a mini power audit the other day to figure out how much power we've been using in a day and on average charging my laptops using the lights and the water pump etc we use on average about 40 amps. So currently we are doing okay, we're putting enough in and taking enough out, however um, as it becomes more wintry I think we might have to run the engine some more or use a generator. So that's all for today's video, I hope you found it somewhat informative and if you'd like me to do a video in the future of how I calculated how much power we use in a day just let me know in the comments and I'll see you again soon!